I stopped recording part way through because I didn't want to record the boring stuff. There we go. Um, fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, you can't hear... You watching the stream can't hear the game audio because that's complicated. Uh, when you shift these two... Right, it's literally her mother. <laughs> but fun fact. This character, I actually took a clip of my actual mom. You know, really tiny little flip length clip. And, and use that for um, the voice of the mother. So the the Verity's mother is actually voiced by my mom. So, fun fact. There's two people typing. They're definitely typing your mom jokes. Uh, <laughs> gotta get to the jump. To the jump. I just called the dump the jump. Please help me. <laughs> Hug. Wholesome 100 moment. Memory. The pixels have become more pixelated. My mom acts your video game characters five dollars each. <laughs> Pixel become more pixelated. I'm sure they have. Let me just let me just look at the stream. It, it, it doesn't look so bad. The stream. I, I think the stream looks okay. Probably better than it is on YouTube. Twenty minutes late. Not really. Not really. Uh, I it, we're only really just starting. Squid Wario. Why are people talking about Squid Wario in the chat? Where, when did that? How did that start? <laughs> okay. All right, I'll hurry. Hey, over here. Luke X Squid Wario. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I guess Verity woke up a bit later today. You think we must ship Azrael Sands? Why are we... Ladies and gentlemen, why are we shipping Azrael Sands? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> why Azrael and Sands? Why Azrael... Kara X Sans X Azriel X Toriel Forza. <laughs> oh boy. Sans X Toriel, okay. I mean, that's practically canon. But. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am a little bit of a degenerate, but not really a big fan of shipping. You know, sort of ship or be shipped. <laughs> I mean, I do ship myself with my own OC, so I guess I, I do kind of ship some, but. It's a car. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, plenty, but so, it's pl nothing that isn't wrong with me, so. <laughs> no judgments here. I'm only curious. She says, I'm only curious here. I don't know if you can read the really tiny text. Don't let, let the old man bother you. Don't be too hard on him either. He's a good guy if you get to know him. Yeah. Oh, we get the... The wonderful overprotective mother. For some reason, I read important as imposter for a second. I haven't even... <laughs> seen an Among Us meme in a while. Well, I'll play the game like, what the heck? <laughs> it's impossible. You stay hydrated. If I make a character maker, who would you make? Do you really have to ask me that? Who would I make? Imposter X Kenny's mom. Uh, <clears throat> Imposter X Kenny's mom. For sure. Make sure not to touch anything sharp and metallic. Like a vent. Your question, would it be Alicia? Who would I make in the character maker? Alicia, yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, literally. Okay, like, this is not even a joke. Every single time I see someone ask for art suggestions, I suggest Alicia. Every time. 
not because I need to, but just because I can and I see no reason not to. And I'm just like, why not? I don't care how many times I've suggested it before to that same person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him, like, hey, you know, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yep, yep, Cupcake Man's, he can, he can vouch for me. It's true. <laughs> I do, in fact, do it. Squidward X Shrek. <laughs> Who would have thought that the chat would have been filled with. Uh, oh, don't even. Is <laughs> this <is> Profex Luigi? <laughs> My audio is bugging. Uh, well, let's hope it stops bugging. What's my worst ship? Uh, what's the worst? What's the worst ship I can come up with? Or what's the worst ship I have unironically shipped? Because the number of... Yes. Well, that doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> option one or option two? Option one is what is the worst I can come up with. And option two is what's the worst one I've unironically shipped. Three. Okay, you're not going to answer me. I can see that. <laughs> one. Okay. Ship. You mean this? Yes, I ship ship X ocean. The ship is, um, oh no, I just thought of her really. <laughs> I, should I share it? <laughs> the ship is diving into the ocean. <laughs> I don't know if I should have said that. I do not know if I should have said that. But I did. it's out. It's it's over. I'm going to get canceled on Twitter now. Oh no, guys. This is this is so sad. <laughs> Congratulations, your free trial <laughs> life has expired. <laughs> no! Looks easy to smash. Wait, why am I thinking like that? Zelda reference moment. <laughs> Hulk smash. You mean Detroit smash? You mean Detroit smash? No, Hulk smash. You mean Detroit smash. Why Detroit? I don't know. Why is a show made in Japan referencing Detroit? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe there's more places in Detroit than just the one I know, but my video is laggy. Yep. I'm not surprised. I don't really know what to do about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream anyways. I'm, I'm trying. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should stop the stream for a quick second, and then just start over. Start. There we go. I'm uh, starting again with the stream. Yeah. So it, it should it should be good. Hopefully. So instead of talking about random ships, uh, do you want to talk about the actual game? <laughs> is anyone interested? Because <laughs> this is also a QA stream. So, so from that we know she's pretty resourceful. So. Is that one pose Mara does purposely like papyruses? It, that was it was definitely inspired by that, yeah. Uh, their, their characters aren't necessarily the same, but it de definitely definitely inspired it. Somewhat unconsciously or subconsciously, but definitely. Kind of like the style of your game. You're gonna play it later. Thank you. Oop! Didn't mean to. <laughs> furry frisk. So frisk is a furry. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's probably why frisk is so friendly with all the monsters, right? <laughs> it's 
click. I want to save everyone. Why? Because a lot of you look like anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> Furry Frisk versus. Furry Frisk versus. Okay. Versus. Furby Frisk. Furby. Furby Frisk is Takara. How'd I think of the game? Ah, that's uh, an interesting one. Uh, where. Well, really where it all began, uh, I mentioned it in a post fairly early on, but there were some lyrics in a song that got me thinking of an idea that was loosely inspired by the lyrics in that song, and the idea kind of, I just extrapolated it by asking a bunch of questions and just kind of went from there. And that's usually where it starts. I'm like, and I can't really tell you what the question is because it's kind of a major spoiler for the, like, big part of the game, but are you secretly in love with the- no. No, I'm not in love with the main character. Actually, like, the characters in the game are meant to be endearing, but not necessarily attractive. If you know what I mean. Um, if I- if I was, then I- I'd probably admit it. <laughs> I mean, Alicia is my own OC, so, um, you know, it's like- <laughs> but, yeah. It's like, um, yeah. Aren't they 10 now? They're, they're meant to be 14. Which, I don't know if they look it, but that's their canon age. You sense a love triangle. <laughs> a love triangle with who, though? That's what I'm curious. I'm just waiting for some people to type. You, Sansy, and Alicia. Who's Sansy? Hello! Hello, Glitchwolf, or Robbie, or Glitchwolf XD. Hello. Are oh, you telling us this stuff? We already know it. It's like, you know, Ver Verity goes on this whole big, you know, rant about, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, it's, it's story time, you know, story time in the game world where, you know, you're, you're given all the backstory with the thing. And then it's like, uh, why are you telling us this? More when I shift you. Oh, yeah, I do. You like edit us both and said, you know, I'm gonna ship you too. It's like, yeah. I, um. Like, I, I know I, I, uh, liked some of their arts, but I haven't really talked too much with them. So I don't really know them too well. Yeah, that, that was kind of funny. It was also kind of awkward, but also kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah. Alicia X Waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia is going to dive into the waterfall. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> that sound was me, um... I just realized the sound I made of me cringing at what I had just said probably made it even worse because... <laughs> Alicia x Luke x Waterfall x Sans x the Pope. Oh, wonderful, my one true love. Please, let's focus on the game! Not not all this absurd shipping. <laughs> uh, you know, it's fun, though. <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I have people playground open in the background and a noise like <laughs> scares the hell out of me. <laughs> By the way, Outta is spelled O-U-T-A, not O-T-T-A. Sorry to be that guy, but I'm... You know me by now. I'm that guy. I'm always that guy. <laughs> is Verity in a kind of Chris situation because with us controller? Because she seems to question things she does sometimes. Uh, that's a good observation. I can't say too much, but I can say that there is some amount of guidance going on. Uh, it's not exactly like Chris, um, partially because we don't even know exactly what is going on with Chris, but um, there is some similarity. There's definitely some similarity between the two characters. But good observation. That that was definitely deliberate. This question has been concerning me a little. Is Mara the enemy we scare away after getting the sword? To be honest, I haven't really even thought of that, but I think I'm going to make that canon now. Mara, yep, I'm making... Nope, that's it. We just created canon, boys. 
right here. It's canon now. It wasn't before, but it is now. So I know it's been concerning you, uh, but no, it is It is now. It is now canon. You just realized something very important? Yep. <laughs> Fitness gram pigs are tired. That that struck me as, as being so funny. <laughs> Would there be a gaster type of character in the game? Um, that's uh, what is going on? Question of the day. I ask that myself all the time. I have yet to find an answer. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Will there be a gaster type character in the game? Good question. Um, I would say that the one character I teased. Um, might have some, okay, uh, entry, you know, like, the, the entries in the true lab, uh, and, and, you know, sort of, like, that sort of, the, you know, there are some things similar, sim similar to Gaster, but, um, nothing that's really quite the same as Gaster. Like, there, there might be some things tone-wise that might remind you of Gaster, but not necessarily be like Gaster lore wise or character wise partially because again we don't really know much about gaster uh, but um you know I, I guess like the core idea of gaster being a character who's spread across time and space that aspect of gaster uh there's not really anything like that in the game necessarily um it's like you know what i mean like tone wise feeling wise there might be some things that are pretty similar but technicality wise about story uh not necessarily probably like you know there, there's some technical details that aren't completely 100 ironed out i do have a pretty good picture of roughly what the story is and the lore is for the most part but just a guess that toby already did the work for you yeah well i mean that, that's part of the point though is that um you know, as much as I do take a lot of inspiration from Toby's work and, and other places as well, I'm also doing my own thing with it, you know. Like, first and foremost, I'm here to make a game that I would enjoy playing, and hopefully other people enjoy playing it as well. Um, but also, uh, also, I'm trying to think, what, what is it I wanted to say? Right, right. Uh, like, I'm setting out to make something that's original. But I'm not afraid to take inspiration if I think it fits. Basically, if the shoe fits, wear it is kind of the philosophy I'm taking. But I'm making sure not to just try on one pair of shoes. Does that kind of make sense? I don't know. Maybe this kind of a weird analogy. I mean, it's it's not a weird analogy. Well, maybe it is. I mean, c just because it's common doesn't mean it's not weird. But <laughs> hopefully that kind of makes sense. Right. Let's go. Oh, we can we can check the garbage. Is Mario secretly Mario from Super Mario Brothers? Uh, so it's shoe shopping. Yes, it is shoe shopping. I'm going shoe shopping. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I, I very rarely go shoe shopping. I, I go shoe shopping like maybe once every three years. When I absolutely have to get a new pair of shoes because my current ones are falling apart. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get the idea. I just get new shoes when I need it. Is Mario secretly Mario? Yes. Yes, he is. He's secretly Mario. Mario is secretly Mario. You hate shoe shopping? Yep. Same. It sucks. Really bad. Actually, it doesn't. It's kind of cool. But I don't have much reason to do it most of the time. I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion of shoe shopping. It just kind of exists. And it's nice because you can get shoes that, like, aren't dying inside. But, uh, <clears throat> that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna 
We're going to save in slot number 13 because we want to be unlucky. Just like the stream quality is unlucky. Ooh. Yeah. Save in slot 69. There, there aren't 69 slots. There aren't that many. Unfortunately. And uh, due to Dave's request, I have indeed made the rocks quieter. So um, they're slightly less annoying when you push them now. So that's good. I got 5G. No, make the rocks louder. I should probably make a special edition version. And the entire game is just the rock noise just being super loud. It's like the entire game is just this cave. And it's just pushing the rocks. And the rocks are as loud as I can possibly make them. That'd be funny. Do it like the papyrus cool song that Toby did. You know... I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> oh, we're only three people get a copy of just that? Hmm. No one else got to hear it? But can they share it? Could they share it? The papyrus cool song? Or no? <clears throat> oh, somebody just said your mom. And they said it twice. My mom? Mom, somebody's talking about you! I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope my mom didn't hear that. Is is isn't gonna come in like, yes? What what's what's going on, Luke? What's going on? What's going on? What what is it? I'm like, no, I was making a joke. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> they have so I don't know. <clears throat> this is the best. <laughs> Alicia X Rock. By the way, I hate to be that guy, but it's my waifu, so I have a right to be uh, overly obsessive about specific details. You're spelling her name wrong. It's L-I-C-I-A, not L-I-S-H-A. So, um, I'm going to cancel you on Twitter for that if you don't start spelling it correctly and worship me as an apology. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I don't really care. It's like, I mean, I'll let you know for information's sake, but... Like, it doesn't really bother me. Like, you could spell it at symbol dollar sign number one X-I-S-H-I-S-A. And I wouldn't care. In fact, I'd probably think it was hilarious. Nine forty credits. <laughs> Green shirt boy. <clears throat> I remember someone remarked that they uh, were like. Um, someone remarked that when they said, uh, I'm getting Relsey vibes. No, no, that's, that's true. <laughs> it's not, not too far off. But, um, basically, uh, you're such a pro at my own game. I know, right? It's amazing. Like, I can walk around and I can talk with people and I haven't died once. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a very difficult, very challenging game. I'm not paying attention to the video because of the chat. <laughs> anyway, so uh, like I was starting to say, um, someone mentioned that they didn't say anything. And I decided very deliberately to make it quiet after that moment. Just because I felt like it should be. You know, like sometimes you're just like, uh, yeah, it's like sometimes someone could ask you, why did you do it this way or that way? Or why did you make it that way? Or how did you? It's like. I just kind of did, you know, it's like, it just kind of felt right, you know what I mean? 
No, actually, actually, that's that's an interesting thing with uh, Verity when you think about it. Sometimes you know she does things just because it feels right. But you know, can you trust your feelings? You know, that's that's one of the interesting questions. Is you know, um, how much can you really rely upon them? How much can you really rely upon your reason or your feelings? Uh, you know, so sometimes it's kind of tough to know. But, um, yeah, so. Now, this, this is something that a lot of people got confused with for a second. <laughs> you have to go here. Uh, I, for the final game, this is, uh, I mean, I did get a plugin that technically changes what the menu looks like a little bit, but this is mostly the default RPG Maker menu. Um, you can't see? Oh, it looks okay. Oh, you can't hear? It's kind of laggy. Okay. Okay, good. Or. Yeah, but that. Oh, that's. That that stinks. I tried reloading the page. Luckily, I'm also recording this, and they'll re-upload it to YouTube, so... <laughs> That's good. But, um... Yeah, I do plan on reworking this menu. Uh... So that it... Looks less horrible. And you missed five whole seconds? Eh. Okay, fun, fun fact, that character, the, the one that ran up to you, had um, a red outline, whereas before in the demo version, he didn't, right, so. Um. So technically, I'm not playing the demo build, I'm just playing the demo section of the, you know. Wait, can you, like, actually die in this demo? Since Verity scares the enemy away. The moment it hits Kenny, I don't see a way to die except having an incredibly weird RNG. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you ran around in circles and didn't fight off the enemy, you could eventually die. And it is technically possible to kill an enemy, but it's kind of unlikely. Which is kind of the point. This is just like the introduction. You know, sort of section. So it's not really meant to be hard yet. Also, I customized the tile set a bit, if you can tell, so that, you see these tiles? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're just, we're just gonna flee. There we go. Um, you see these tiles? Um, right here. You can't walk in them, just because of the way RPG Maker is set up. But they looked just the same floor-wise, and um, I realized that it might be kind of confusing, so I decided to make those areas darker, just to kind of better clarify that you can't walk there. So. So where's my dad? <laughs> Game, always recovered. Me. So where's my dad? So where's my dad? Game's just like, I'm sorry. Newbert, but your dad is gone. We cannot recover him. We cannot recover him from the milk store. I'm very sorry. We cannot recover him from the milk store. We did our best. We really tried. But we simply could not do it. Uh, if you have any further complaints, please uh, communicate to the customer satisfaction committee that you have further complaints, and they may or may not care. <laughs> what is the name of that enemy? It's called a glitchless. Chalk. 
is very deadly talk. We're like Stone Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Notice it's, it's quiet in here again. Uh, I don't really know what they would do with the chalk. It's kind of part of the point. Need something wholesome? Want to see? Sure. I should hop over to Angel here. <laughs> nice questioner among us. Oh. Yep, that's there's a bug. Uh let's see. So um Oh no. Why? <laughs> what no can't see. There's one. Hi. Hi. Hoi. I am not Kemi. But Tem Tem that that works. Hoy, I am not Kemi. It's like instead of Hoy, I'm Kemi, it's Hoy, I am not Kemi. It's amazing. It's an amazing non reference. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. Hello, Bob. We must make a Temi cult. Yeah, there. <laughs> Can never have too many colds. Yo, Bob. Yo, it's Bob. No way. And a Bob quote. I was just about to say that. Reject the Bob's return to the Temi. Nah. No. 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 The Bob and the Temi cult can work together in peace. Why not? They can both spread the words of the Bob and the Temi. Maybe the Temi. Maybe there's a Temi named Bob. That's that's a possibility. So, uh, are there any questions again? The comic book bad rendition of Kenny. Look, let me ask you this. No, I, I see. I'm seeing pretty much all the chat. Okay. He saw it pensive. <laughs> If Luke found a way to bring Alicia to life, what do you think would happen? Uh, I believe in soulmates, so probably not. I mean, you know, it's like, but yeah. Whew. What was your smallest inspiration for this game? <clears throat> Probably Fallout. Because <laughs> there's a radio in that game. And later on in this game, which is the part you guys won't get to see for a while, uh, you get a radio. And you can load up the radio and listen to the radio or listen to the guy in the radio. And so that was kind of inspired by Fallout. Uh, also partially inspired by a friend who suggested I create a journal for the main character to write in. But, um... Can you spam? I prefer nobody spam. Uh, so probably. Where does best object from guidance then? No argue over it. Yeah, that's for sure. Comically bad rendition of Kevin. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I thought of it all. What would I? What would I do if Alicia was real? Um. I would probably go back to bed and try to sleep it off <laughs> uh, but if, if, uh, if Alicia was a real person that I knew in real life I would probably um, spend most of my time uh, trying to work up the nerve to say hello <laughs> but yeah <laughs> it's 
scientists baffled because man brought trying to life. <laughs> what if Alicia don't like if she was... What if Alicia don't like if she was real? I'm sorry, could you try rephrasing that question in uh, another language, like English? <laughs> I'm just... Keep in mind when I say stuff like that, I'm, I'm just teasing. I don't... Uh, you know, I'm not... I say dumb things all the time, so it's not like a big insult for me or anything like that. I'm just like teasing around. Luke doesn't need to notice you with common shots. I, I know some of them. Now entering the guy. Not from the guy, reference to myself. Cool. Forgot to comment a word. Yeah, no, I mean I'm ta I'm talking about them for the most part. Will I ever play off? I think I've ever... I think I've ever... I think I've heard of it, but I don't really know much about it. I think I've heard the name, though. Uh, I might. I mean, I, I already got plenty of other things I'm <laughs> currently doing, so... But uh, I might if I find the time and find out what it is and stuff. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. I was asking before, what if Alicia don't don't doesn't like that doesn't like me if I if she was real, if she didn't like me, uh, if she was real and she didn't like me, um, then I would probably be kind of sad about it, and then move on with my life. I mean, I I don't know. It's like, um, you know, uh, Alicia isn't the only attractive female member of the human species in the world. <laughs> um, wrong. No, no, that's true. No, no, you, you know what? You, you are right. Overdrive originals, requests, requests open. I think that's <laughs> Alexeration, I think is actually your name, but I <laughs> yeah, you are right. It's wrong. Alicia is the only attractive female of the human race. Uh, if Alicia rejects you, create another OC, bring her to life, and wait for her to like you. Okay, so what do you mean? Do you mean if I made her real and she didn't like me? Or do you mean if I met, a, it, like, or do you mean, like, if I had never created her and she was just another person? You have to be a little more specific. If I made her real and she didn't like me, I would definitely feel a lot more rejected. But assuming we're in a universe where I never created Alicia as a character and I just met someone who's exactly the way I imagine her, and she didn't like me, then um, that would be a bit different between the two. Uh, honestly, though, like, one of her major character traits is that she loves me and is supportive and caring of me a lot specifically. That's probably her strongest personality trait whenever I imagine her. So, like, if I were to be able to bring her to life as in, in a way that is accurate then it would actually be impossible for her not to like me if that kind of makes sense um but you know it's like that's one of the advantages to creating your own waifu is you know for a fact they will like you because they canonically like you <laughs> i sound older than 20 <laughs> yeah nah i'm just 18 Sometimes, sometimes my voice just sounds deeper. Sometimes it sounds as, sounds as, sounds as, wow, correct English there. I can speak properly. Yeah, some, sometimes my voice can sound higher, sometimes lower. Kind of depends. That was really quick. What was really quick? Did I die? Wait, what? That the fish died. What fish? A fish died? What? What's going on? Is this? Is that the video or? Also, how in spammed and G spammed in his name? Did you code all of this? How did I? R RPG maker. <laughs> That's. I know the greatest, most complex. Uh. And she, like I missed a whole two minutes because you didn't read your DMs. 
the two minutes you missed, I don't think were really worth it. But you tried using it but failed. Yeah, it just it just takes practice and patience and you know stuff. <laughs> uh so off was made. Cool. Um Yeah, I used a lot of plugins though. But like everything I did with this game so far are all things I've done before in other games. Which was one of the reasons why I'm really pushing forward with this project, especially with the art and the music. I mean, I'm going to be honest, a lot of some of the artwork, I'm just like, uh, can you tell what it is? Does it look completely 100% out of place? If the answer to those two is yes and no, then I'm like, okay, good enough. <laughs> like, look really closely at the feet there. And you'll, um, you know, it's, uh, Scratch isn't, yeah, you know, I'm honestly going to have to agree, Scratch is pretty limited, because you can really only play it directly with the Scratch engine on the Scratch site, unless you want to work through, like, a billion different plugins. So, um, yeah, it's good for starting off messing around. I've used Scratch quite a bit in the past, uh, though it was quite a while ago, and I never really made too much in it. Um, but RPG Maker, like, it has its problems, don't get me wrong, but if you know what you're doing and you're making the right kind of game and you have the right plugins and stuff, you can definitely make something pretty solid. So, I've used Jumbox and made a whopping total of three songs that sound okay. Yeah, I used Beatbox a lot starting off. Um... And then now I'm using FL Studio, which was kind of, uh, you know, but RPG Maker has its problems. Indeed. Yes, that is, that it is true, but it, it's not, um, like, like I said, you know, you can still make something good with it with the right knowledge. So. Let's see. One of my games is where you date a rock. Oops, caps lock. Hmm. Anyway, so should I should I move ahead or should I just keep walking around in circles while you while I chat with you guys? <laughs> I'll get to test it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I am really excited to date a rock. In 18 period. Why a rock instead of Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just. I'm more into actual rock. You know, like uh, lime in particular. I'm a big fan of limestone. Uh, some, something about the feel of that. Just, you know, you just kind of, you know, move your hand slowly across the limestone. It just has this really nice texture that just, you know, really, I, I just really like. And I, I don't really know how else to describe it. Okay, so Alexson is currently shouting to me because the use of capital letters, an important piece of literature and writing as a whole. What? <laughs> By the way, I was joking about the limestone rock. That's that's not what I'm into. I have a different fetish. Uh, <clears throat> Editor, edit that out. My favorite dialogue in the game is when you just look at the table in Verity's room. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a live stream. Well, yes, but the video won't be a live stream when I upload it again. And Game Jolt stores no record. So all you have is your memory. I'm the only one with a permanent record. Haha. <laughs> I can eliminate anything in this video I do not like, and nobody will be the wiser except for the ten people who heard it with their own ears and will serve as excellent witnesses in court. Okay, so maybe I am in trouble, but I- Oh, you- <laughs> Oh no, you recorded me! <laughs> oh no. This scene was kind of confusing. Does Verity just punch the mirror? Oh, she kind of puts her hand out. It, because of the resolution of the sprites, it's kind of tricky to kind of get it to work. But she kind of, like, puts her hand out to use her power thing. It's kind of hard to explain. 
Is the world Verity lives in just a mountain cave or is a Deltarune thing? The Haven is a cave system. The world isn't a cave system, but the Haven, which is you leave the Haven at the end of the game, is inside a cave. A sort of cave. It's underground, basically. Do you, someone, could help me with my project? It's kind of original, but I'm the only working in the project and is not a game. Um. <laughs> it's okay. If, if anything, it, it gives me a chance to, to laugh. It's kind of entertaining. It's fine. It's fine. We all, we, we all have our moments. Um. <laughs> I understood what you meant. Uh, probably not. Uh, because I'm kind of busy with my own stuff. But, um, good, good luck with it, though. I'm the only person working on Guidance, too. I've had, like, two people I know IRL playtest it. And then other than that, it's basically all me and also some stock RPG Maker sound effects and plugins and the game engine that other people made. But all the art and the music and the story and actually putting the game together um, is all original, so... This is, this is a serious scene, though, so. That's the thing with the game, is I want it to be mostly silly and absurd, but I want there to be moments like this, where it's just, um... You know, it's like... Oh, gotta go? Okay, bye. Like, I want there to be moments like this, too, that are more serious and more emotional. It's like most of the game is light and silly, but then that's also contrasted. And so what I'm getting at is that a bunch of redditors said the sun is too bright and sealed themselves in the cave system which is to my understanding of cave systems is now filled with toxic air and carbon dioxide <laughs> have fun in GTA furry frisk <laughs> potato man protector of potatoes <laughs> hey <clears throat> Is this going to be a... Uh... Did you know that you are more likely to enjoy a TV show if it's based on something that you don't have? Hmm. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You don't have friends. girlfriend of the show. I need that. I mean, that's probably why I watched Tanakawa and was smiling the entire time. <laughs> Not the whole show. I, I think I watched 20 episodes of it. It has like a hundred and something episodes, like 150 episodes. And I'm just like, do you really need that many for a show with that low stakes? I'm ready family to speak another word relating to what amount of humor you have is funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And this is my stream. Therefore, my judgment is absolute. And I am... Yeah. Let's see. The way Kenny's dialogue moves a lot here makes him seem like, yeah, I'm traumatized about nobody in the Haven being themselves anymore. Yeah. No. It's like, I, I originally was going to have him his text shaking when the when in the door scene but i decided to hold off on it because i thought i could use it later and it would be more effective if i hadn't already used it and, and i think it definitely was a lot more effective that um is the internet in the cave system no H how do you get internet in the caves next person to type in chat gets shit listed everyone's gonna be silent now <laughs> 
Real train is highlighted for a reason. You notice his text stopped shaking there. It's at that moment. <laughs> oh no! Iron, why'd you have to ruin it? Why didn't you get like some sort of pretty girl or something to type in chat? Like, come on. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> Also look your judgment as as absolute as cake from insert popular puzzle solving game here. The chat decides your fate as content creator. That is actually a good point. That is actually true. Ultimately the audience does decide. Next person <laughs> yeah. The chat decides you Yeah, that is true. I mean, you know, the your your fans as a content creator do kinda of decide how successful what you make is. So that actually, that is an excellent point. But I still like to pretend I have control. <laughs> that, that is one thing though. Like, I will often make polls and then just ignore the results and just do the opposite of what they tell me to anyways. Because honestly, like I'd rather make what I think fits best. And like, I want to listen to what other people have to say but I still want to make the creative decisions that I want to make, right? So I'm not going to compromise, you know, my creative vision because of a popular majority. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate democracy. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of democracy. But um, in my own personal kind of projects, you know, then uh, I probably already died. The ship is already dead and we killed it. <laughs> You've undone your existence with what you've said. I know. I know. I know. I've undone it. People. But I'm sorry. But uh, I, I make my own creative decisions. I've undone my very existence. Oh. Oh. Those ion. You were talking probably. Those people are not smart. <laughs> it's like O1 IQ. That's funny. In part of the... <laughs> Gravity touches grass. This is true. like dialogue sprites change into colored versions gotta have yeah I don't know like, I've thought a lot about that about colored sprites and when to use them and when not to use them and whether or not to use them uh, making it an option in the settings you know what that would entail it would entail going into Every single time a character speaks, creating an if-else statement for every single dialogue box to change which, whether or not it shows a thing. That's what it would take. Do you know how many dialogue boxes there are in the game? Probably a hundred by now. That is how- There is no way that would be feasible. 
Also, look, where will the merchant guy I suggest as the character is in theory? What's the character be? I don't know. Um, I, I think I remember you suggesting a character. I don't remember exact. I can't picture what he looked like. So, I don't know. But we'll see. What will your OC be? Uh, th thing is, um, I, I know I did say to a few people, uh, who suggest who asked if their OCs could be in the game? I said I might, if it fits, a and that is still the answer. If I s remember it and I see a good opportunity, I'll probably use it. But there is a decent chance I won't. But there's a possibility I will. Where you? Yours a rock? Oh, n if if Newbert's OC is a rock, then it's already in the game. I just didn't credit you for it. I just took your idea of having a rock, and um stole it and claimed it as my own so i stole your idea of, of having a rock yeah Surely seems like a cool guy, not gonna lie. That he is. So Argot's his unique team. Ah, I see. Yeah, cool. Um, honestly, that Argoth guy, I'd say he probably would be better off as a guard sort of enemy, like a sort of sentry enemy, I think most likely. My mom is so sucks. Relax with your Minecraft villager already. What? Alright, so that is uh, all we have to share so far. Well, just as I terrifies everybody just because he carries a freaking house on his back. He's just a friendly guy that sells items. Ah, I see. So yeah, that is all for now. But, the stream doesn't necessarily have to be over. Um. So. Um. Magic items with a male protagonist. Well, I guess it depends on how you view the word protagonist and what, um, it depends on circumstances. But I guess it could hypothetically be possible. Uh. With the game. But, uh, yeah, so anything else? Um, make it an option in the settings to have a male protagonist instead of feet. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, well, that that is one thing I will say is Verity, who Verity is, is not up to the player. I will say that. Verity is her own person, her own character. So it's not, um, Verity isn't, uh, like, customize your character. Um, Verity is, uh, you know, the, the main character, but, um, add milk to guidance. I will. So everyone's a girl? No, just Verity. 
and also other people who are also girls. But, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> like my mama. That is true. My, my mother is of the feminine variety of the human species. That is correct. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm still recording. I'm still recording. It's still here, so. Yeah, how, how long have we been recording here? Um, oh, dang, an hour. All right, so. Uh, victory. Thank you, and uh, yeah, Anas, Anastasia. I th I think that's her name, or your name. Yeah, MC Cafe just refused to allow me to use Team Tilt for a bit. Not what, not sure what MC Cafe is. Uh, it's too bad. Yeah, you're here. Well, he's back. Oh, a VPN that sucks. Ah, I see. Okay. Gotta go? Okay. See you, Ion. Alright, so are there... I guess are there any questions? Because I'm glad you did. Thank you. I'm glad you did too. Came back to post this. Okay, let's, let's see what this is. I imagine this isn't what you wanted me to watch. Ah. Okay. Cool. Enjoy. That wasn't. Yes. I wish to get to see more of the stream. Well, y there will be a uh, a video version, um, soon. So that will exist. Uh, so this is Q and A, mostly. Yeah, I mean, I've, everyone in chat is in it, so. Mm hmm yes so are there any uh questions i guess just to kind of close off the stream yeah it is in the video <laughs> it's all it's all in the video it's right here if you can see it on here and it is in the video. Is my OC in the game? One for my screensaver. Um, uh, my profile picture right here. You mean? Uh, no, not at the moment. Probably won't be blue. Oh, you okay? So do you mean you mean Alicia? Or do you mean the one used to represent me? If you're going to do any YT streams, you change your name to Semper J. Williams. Ah, okay. So, more formal approach. Okay. Wait, is that like your... Hey, never mind. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, I would just advise not to share that. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's like YouTube streaming can set up lazy for me and my already terrible internet so <laughs> but yeah all right so um are there any kind of questions to just kind of wrap up because probably want to finish pretty soon so i've been going for a while Oh, the the Jay Williams part isn't your name. Okay, good.
of a PS3 instead of PSN. Okay, that's that's cool, but it's unrelated. Are there any questions related? Is there cereal in the Haven? Um. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I never thought of it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe all they have to eat is peanut butter and jelly. It's the only thing they have to eat. It's very nutritious, though. Heals 99 HP. Just like a certain pie from a certain goat mom in a certain game, which is definitely not inspired much. Uh, <laughs> so my last question, will Emma be the last party member or will there be more? Um, yeah, she will be the last party member. Or did you just not have a plan? Nah, she, she will be the last one. Um, there's only four characters that join your party at any point in the game. That being Verity, Kenny, of course, Morrow, for that short time, at least. And, of course, Emma, later on. Will there be any lower-dwelling haveners, like they dwell in the theoretical sewers? Uh, doesn't really sound similar to anything I've come up with. Fitness Grand Pacer Test. Um, it's not really related, but I do believe that it is an excellent scientific study. Uh, can you ditch party members for new ones? Not really. When party members leave and join your party is more based off of story events. Uh, there might be some choices regarding whether or not you can keep a character with you later on, but that's more in like a second playthrough kind of thing. Green shirt guy week? Not necessarily. Um, he doesn't have a lot of very strong offensive abilities, but he is a very good support character. It's kind of it's kind of part of the point is Kenny is mostly healing, Verity is mostly damage, and then Emma later on will be mostly um like negative status effects for the enemies, sort of. We have ever released a level creator so people can make their own stories related to the Haven. Uh, I mean, it's just made an RPG maker, so like, I guess really the best I could maybe do is like give them a copy of the game that's editable. I I don't know. Just dodge the attacks while you need defense. Well, you need defense because you can't dodge the attacks. That that's the thing is is uh, you know, as guidance isn't an Undertale type battle system it's more like a traditional rpg like battle system so you there's no bullet hell aspect to it so you so you get hit and then it's it. it's more strategy based do any enemies deal buffs to multiple members at a time uh not at the moment honestly uh i'm really only just getting close to the place where um like i'm, I'm making the game for the most part in sequential order like starting from the beginning and working my way towards the end of the game um but sort of like uh basically trying to think how to put it right 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 did you record the abc one two three sound file yes yes i did <laughs> would there be a playable copy of undertale in haven no there were not very unlikely will there be any such thing. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to avoid any, like, direct references uh, or copyrighted materials. Like, there are a lot of references, but they're wink-wink references, not literally just taking something and putting it in there, if that kind of makes sense. Yeah, the main character will never play the game she found a poster. Well, she might in the happy ending. Who knows? My computer is having trouble, is having my computer is having my computer is having a mind of its own. I see. It's a trap. Don't read it. How, how is it? How is it a trap? It's a D's nuts joke. <laughs> how? You know, it could be interesting to be able to play mini games in Verity's computer while you're still in the Haven. That is an interesting idea. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually do it. I'll, I'll, I, could, I I think that would be cool. I see no reason not to, but I'll probably be lazy and not do it, even though I agree that would be cool, if that makes sense. <laughs> huh. 
How is it? My computer is heaven. My computer is heaven. My computer is heaven. My computer is having a mind of its own. How How is it? I don't understand how that translates to anything else than what he just said. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't quite get the joke. So, I don't get every joke, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I do not get every joke. Sad, sad moment. This one is child's play levels of understanding. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really get these kinds of jokes uh, when I was younger, mostly. <laughs> Having my can be used as having my well, why? Yes, but it's not saying having my only means having my right. It it only means nuts in your mouth if you add nuts in your mouth, right? So I. Okay. People add that part of the sentence to a non-word word. Look LCD screen. <laughs> Why not? Because I didn't get most of these kinds of jokes when I was younger. I don't know. I just didn't. 1080 PP. <laughs> I know. I I know my age. I didn't look. I was a sheltered kid. Okay. No, I'm 18. Yeah. Why did you think I was 19? Where where did I? <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, you are. I I was sh I was really sheltered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How in the darn hell, Derek Donovan, do you still not get this? I don't know. I mean, if I never heard it, then, then I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that. <laughs> also, how did Verity learn about technology at all? Um, things in the dump. Uh, things came from outside over, you know, through a river into the underground place. And they learned about it. Been on the internet for, during an estimated time, four years. I haven't really been on social media for that long, though. Uh... Like, I technically used Game Jolt, but I only used it to download some, a few games. And other than that, I mostly just watched dan to dm and MatPat videos. That was how much I used the internet at the time. I know, I've heard of D's Nuts jokes. I know, haha, got him, but then that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about it. Imagine. I had a Game Jolt account for four years, but I didn't use that until the third year. Yeah, same. Like, I didn't really use Game Jolt until, like, a year ago. This is derailing more than Nova Prospect. <laughs> uh, good one. Okay. That was one of my favorite sections of the game, for sure. That was a good section. Alright, so... I think that'll be enough for today, but just remember, if you ever have any jokes, um, if you, if you ever have any jokes, if you ever have any questions, <laughs> thinking too much about jokes, if you have any questions, uh, you can always put them in posts in the guidance community, and I'll do my best to answer, so, um, that's pretty much it, so, uh, I guess we'll end the video here, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.